Hi, my name is Joaquin and I'm a paid media executive here at Kuzai. And in this video, I'm going to share a few quick hints and tips on how to reduce ad frequency. Ad frequency can be an, an ad killer um, and especially a budget killer when it comes to advertising on Facebook. And you, you will tend to see a lot of ad frequency, um, especially when you have a lot of budget invested um, in any particular campaign that you're running. Um, however, when you are running these campaigns, it's really good to go through the process, and identify where your ads, um, where your ads are gaining all that frequency from. Now, the first thing you need to look when you're digging through your campaigns is to identify the campaign that has the most frequency. And you can do this by simply going on to the columns and you can customize columns here and then you can add frequency into them. Now, when it appears, you'll be able to add um, any, you'll be able to customize any columns that you have. So here, for example, we can add frequency. You can tick the box and then you can hit apply. And what, will that, what that will do, we'll add a column where you will see the frequency of each individual ad. Now, whenever you reach a frequency of about five, or even as you can see here on the screen, a four or above, you should really start to look into the reasons why that is, um, and then look into the reasons of how you can reduce that down. Now, the recommended number that your frequency should be is around the 1 to 2.5 um, range. And in order to reduce it down from a high number such as 4, or even sometimes you might see ads that have 15, which is astronomical, um, but in order to reduce that down, you need to look into your audiences and you need to make sure that you're not spreading your audience thin across different ad sets. Now, what I mean by this is that Sometimes in your ads, you might think, oh, well, I'm going to, um, you know, I'm going to separate my ads via um, age, um, maybe some via uh, gender, maybe some via um, location. And by doing this, you're spreading your audience way too thin across too many ad sets. So it means that the audience size is too small and you have too much of a budget to reach um, all these people within those those groups. So let's say, for example, you have um, one campaign where you have uh, all the ads split, all the ad sets split out by age, location, and by gender. What you're going to find there is that you're going to end up having multiple different ad sets within that one campaign and your audience size is going to be way too small. Now, Facebook recommends having an audience size of above a 1,000, but if you do spread yourself thin like that, you might find that you're within a couple of thousands um, in terms of audience size. Now, what you need to do to um, reduce that frequency down to a nice level of 2.0 or maybe 1.0 um, is to actually combine those ad sets back together again. So if they are separated by age and location, um, let's say some are targeting Scotland and others are targeting um, England, it's a really good idea to put them together or maybe just um, add United Kingdom as a whole. And then as you do that, instead of separating by age, so let's say you have different demographics, combine them all together and see where that, see what that does to your frequency. That should help to reduce that down. Another way of doing it is also by actually reducing the budget. So let's say you do want to target um, a certain age specifically, you can reduce the budget down on that ad set and then your ad won't continuously show the same ad to those people. So these are just a few little hints and tips that you can use to try and reduce that frequency. It's not exactly a science. It can be quite tricky. You might need to test different things. Um, but that's what Facebook is all about. You always need to try new things. And if you have taken this um, and it doesn't work for you, you might maybe need to look at changing the audience um, as a whole. Maybe it's the interests. Maybe it's a point of some of the behaviors or job titles that you're using. Now, I hope this has helped you. If you do have any more questions, feel free to let us know or, or you can check our other blogs and videos.